Hey everyone, it's Amber, and today is Wednesday, April 5th, 2011, and this is my week 36 post-op video. Um, I was supposed to make my video yesterday, but I was still in too much pain uh, to do that. Um, as you, I've talked about last week, I've had my wisdom teeth taken out, and this has been a pretty... Um, slow and painful recovery that has not gone smooth at all. Um, I went in for my post follow uh, post follow up visit uh, last Friday and um, there was some macaroni stuck in my left uh, uh, hole that the uh, doctor had to push out with the water syringe and it was so painful it brought me to tears and um, and so that kind of delayed my healing process a little bit because some food was stuck in there but um, I went to a, another a second follow-up uh, visit um, you know they said that it looks like I'm healing well um, there's no decay or anything, but it's just the way that my, since my bottom teeth were impacted and they had to, you know, break them out in pieces, um, you know, my, the healing time for me is going to be longer than I expected. Like the hole on my right side is probably the size of a, like a pea like a small little round P and the hole on the left side is twice the size so like two um, green peas put together it's the size of that hole um, and today was the first day that I haven't been brought to tears in pain um, and I have you know I've been looking in the mirror with the flashlight at my teeth and each day and I, so today I see some progress like my gum tissue is slowly trying to come together but the bottom line is I was supposed to be on the liquid set slash um, soft food uh, diet for two weeks but um, it looks like I'm gonna have to be on it longer probably another two more weeks maybe three more weeks because I mean, until the holes close up, I can't chew anything. Um, and I definitely can't eat anything hard because my nerve and my, um, you know, my jawbone is exposed. And when they had to pull out the teeth, I mean, it left a small gap in in my jawbone. So that is also growing back together. So this is just not what I expected. Um, I thought maybe I would be healed within two weeks. I did not know it was going to take four or five weeks before I may be able to chew food again. Um, so it's been, it's been pretty frustrating. So my diet has pretty much consisted of um, yogurt for breakfast, um, refried beans for lunch and either mashed potatoes or macaroni or um, soup or a protein shake for dinner um, really not not that many options when you can't chew anything so um, well, anyways, so last week my weigh-in was 193 pounds, um, and this week I'm down to 191.6, which is 1.4 pounds down, and it had nothing to do with exercise. It's just the fact that I can't um, eat really anything. So... Um, and I've been in, still been in pain all this past week and feeling very fatigued and run down and it's, I 
outside of just walking, you know, I'm not able to do any uh, vigorous exercise because, I mean, I, the, the pain comes and goes. Um, as long as I'm either taking um, Tylenol or the hydrocodone, other than I'm fine. Other than that, um, the pain will, you know, start down here. The nerve is connected to my uh, bottom front teeth, and they start tingling. Um, the pain can spread up to my ear and, you know, around my cheekbones. And I just, I just can't wait till I'm back to normal, back to my original self, because I have not been that for the past couple weeks. Um, so yeah, this is just a slow pop process. I wasn't expecting it to go on for this long. I thought that maybe I would be, you know, in pain for the first week, and then by week two, each day, it was just going to be getting a little bit better, a little bit better, but today is the first day that and the pain hasn't been, like I said, brought me to tears. Um, but it's most painful in the morning. And then for some reason, like in the afternoon, right before I come home from work. Um, but it's just coming and going. Um, so. I mean, I, I don't. And on top of that. Before I forget, um, I had jury duty last week. So through all of my pain and everything, I had to go to jury duty on Thursday. And on top of that, I was one of the six people selected to actually be on the jury. So we were in there all day long until 5 o'clock in the evening. And then we had to um, all come back the next morning. Uh, which the the plaintiff and the defendant ended up reaching an agreement, so we weren't even needed all day the second day. But still, you know, that's just one more thing that I did not need in my life um, during this time. But at least it's over. I don't have to worry about that anymore. But other than that, I mean, I really... Uh, one thing I am happy is that my band is not too tight because um, having to just swallow food and not chew <laughs> is something that if my band was tight, I would have to go in and get an unfill to be able to get through this um, process because, um, you know, I just, I wouldn't be able to just swallow stuff if my band was too tight and and not get stuck so um, luckily I haven't had any uh, episodes of getting stuck um, like with the with the macaroni and cheese like I was able to to eat that and uh, I mean small bites but I was able to just swallow it and not have to um, and not chew it chew it up so, uh, that's all I have for this week. Um, until next week, I will talk to you later. Bye.